All right, and now we're doing 8Q, is there a vowel in there? And this is by PG1, and 91% of the people like it. Given an array of numbers, check if the numbers are the character codes for lowercase vowels, A, E, I, O, and U. If they are, change the array value to a string of that vowel. Return the resulting array. All right, first we're going to start by saying is val equal A arrow function, all right? And so what we have to do is iterate through all these elements right here, and whichever numbers of these equal these uh, vowels in the character code, we're going to change two vowels and leave the rest of the numbers. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, to start, we're going to say a.map. And what map does is it uh, creates a new array populated with the results of calling a provided function on every element in the calling array. Like right here, it says array one, array one dot map uh, x, and then what is that arrow function x times two, and every one of these elements goes in and comes out here. So one times two is two, four times two is eight, nine times two is eighteen, sixteen times two is thirty-two, and it's just like that. All right. So we're going to do that, and we're going to say x arrow function. And what we're going to do is we're going to put some regex in there, and we're going to test it right here using the prototype.test method. And the test, me test method executes a search for a match between a regular expression and a specified string, and it returns true or false. So we're going to say, we're going to make some regex real quick. All right. And it's say A-E-I-O-U dot test. And what we're going to test is this string from char code. The static stream from char code method returns a string created from the, speci from the specified sequence of UTF-16 code units. So it just puts some code uh, in here and it uh, spits out whatever it's equal to right there. So we're gonna say test uh, string dot from char code x, all right? And there we go. And then if that's true, if it comes out that it's equal to one of these, we're going to have it equal string dot from char code x. And if it doesn't equal one of the one of the numbers that equals these, we're just going to have to have it equal x, all right? Now let's see what happens. All right, excellent. All right. And let's very like it. Uh, maybe I should go buy some lottery tickets today. Uh, what? Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> anyway, uh, very like it. Let's do my solutions. Best practice here. And we'll see you next time.